<laughs> Robin. You're listening to Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony on the virus. Serious XM. Did Rick arrive? Yeah. Rick Shapiro? Yeah, yeah Shapiro's here. here. Bring in Rick right now before I slap somebody's cheekbone. Wow. Mm. Rick Shapiro Tough from boss. Cheekbone. From Lucky Louie. Yes. Rick Shapiro. Yep. Rick every once in a while. I'm sure you're, you're glad we mentioned Lucky Louie, huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, they're, sure. playing, they're playing it on HBO. One yeah, of it's on HBO comedy a lot right yeah. now. Yeah. That's yeah. what I don't understand. If, if the show, like, uh, they're still reaping the benefits sucked of or, yeah. or whatever, why are they yeah, it's, rerunning it's, it? Because yeah. it's got a shitload of fans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, that's got to drive you nuts because it. it yeah. I no, mean, I everywhere I go. HBO didn't, like, uh, I don't know. They didn't want the show anymore. Then why? Play, just, you'd play something else during it. that. Yeah, because the ratings went up every week, so they know it had value. They just didn't yeah. want to associate themselves with it's it. It's just, uh, no, you know. Shut up, bitch. They're just liars. How you doing, man? Hey, hey, Rick hey, Shapiro. How you been? I remember you. Yeah. What's up, brother? I like the IHOP hey, uh, hat. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Hey, how you, how you doing? Right? Well, how do you not recognize that? <laughs> <laughs> Am I that fat now? No, you just have headphones on. So I got headphones on. <laughs> He's unrecognizable with those headphones. Yeah, I could fight crime with these headphones on and work with you at a newspaper during the day. Yeah, and then you take them off. Yeah, yeah. you're fine. You put them on. Mm -hmm. No one recognizes you. That's uh, now you. Who are you? Oh, because oh, like you have headphones on. I don't know who the <laughs> yeah, fuck you are. Who you are. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you guys kind of like, you. Yeah, yeah. They, they look like they, they could be brother. Be my they brother. Do. It's a little, it's a little creepy. <laughs> Rick has a twin brother, you know. Does he? Yeah. That's Maybe the amazing thing about Rick is the weirdest guy I've ever known, and there's two of him. <laughs> it's actually, he has an exact identical. That? He has an identical twin. And brother. are they the same? Well, his brother's a little more filled out, like he's muscular, and yeah. he'll wear like a camel hair coat. Okay. Yeah, right, right. Rick, Rick will find, you know, Rick will wear something he found in the garbage, and his brother will wear a camel hair you coat. You can find shirts hanging off a fence. It's easy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Easy to get some shirts. Yeah. <laughs> Why go to a store? <laughs> that awesome. That is really funny. Uh, we had Pedro in here, and he has a twin brother mm -hmm. from Napoleon Dynamite, obviously. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, they fuck around. Like, uh, the twin will do interviews. Oh, really? And he's not even in the business. That's but, great. But they're like, they're, you know, because they know it's the same old crap, so they, you know, Pedro sends his brother. Right. You know, he knows well, Rick, and no one knows I, I, the difference. Rick, and you'll uh, correct me if I'm saying this wrong, but he had the you, who, every comedian's worst nightmare. I mean, a nightmare you wouldn't even imagine that his brother, his twin identical brother, uh, started doing stand up and doing his act. Yeah. And and he was actually a little more kind of level headed, so people were like, Hey, whoa, Rob yeah. <laughs> You know, he's a little easier to deal with. If only he came along earlier, I would have had a be be better career. <laughs> yeah, we started doing <laughs> they, they would have said, You're so coherent. Yes. You're so calm. <laughs> you guys used to do shows together too, man. And then they did a show together and it was brilliant. Yeah. You guys did sketches that were really good together. Yeah, yeah, yeah we had a good time. Yeah. We played two great old ladies. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, but he was always e eating during his sketch. That's all he knew to do because he couldn't right. stop. He had an eating thing, so he'd bring in a whole cake and be eating d during his sketch. <laughs> oh, hey, Eric, it sounds like okay. you're in the future in acting. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to weigh E-Rock on Thursday, see if he won that Dr. Ian Smith bit, by the way. All right. Well, well, anyway, uh, we, <laughs> everyone's really excited hey, can about I that. Can I ask you a question? Uh-oh, yeah. what? Since I'm learning how to be organized in business, yeah. are we on the air? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> this all goes on the air. Yeah, you're talking in front of a microphone. you got headphones on. You know, that is a good sign. one of the most <laughs> asked questions on this show. Sure. Because people it? just like, this can't possibly this be is, going out as program? entertainment. And we don't know if it's a compliment or not. Yeah, because we we're like not to really think, sure, cause we we like to think we're very confident conversational and very natural well, no, as a radio better. show. Yeah. But no, sometimes it's, nice. it's like we think people are thinking, this can't possibly be an entertainment. No, the worst people. thing though is when you do, because I do radio on the road all the time when I do stand-up, and you'll yeah. be talking to a guy, and he's like a regular guy. Yeah, and he's yeah. like, hey, great to have you in town. Oh, we're coming on. Hey, well, I got Louis yeah, C.K. Yeah. here. Louis so, C.K. What's up with I'm funny Tracy, stuff? I'm Tracy Frecklebreast, <laughs> and we're here with someone who's doing a show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you guys have been I'm on the road Tracy, a little too much. I'm Tracy Dried Up Face <laughs> Freckle Breast. <laughs> Don't they always have those Midwestern dried up faces? Like yes. they're athletic, but, but their oh, faces shit. are shriveled up. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, uh, yeah. We hear this time and time again from you guys because you, you oh, do the road thing. Radio and they face. act like human beings, and then the mics go on. Yeah. And it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> weird. They're fucking phony laughs. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God. 
Well, with me, they, they go, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no funny laughs. They don't know what to think of you, right? Mm. Right, because they don't understand. There's fajitas and then there's fist fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the gray area. Is this, is this that should accent? be the name of a yeah, CD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fine. You That's have fine. carte blanche. I'm glad you asked after the line, by the way. Thanks, Rick. <laughs> Thanks for being organized. Yeah. <laughs> fist fucking. Oh, is oh, this... Uh, uh, is that, will that make it through? That's gonna, FCC, isn't it? You guys are on... On XM Kids, right? Yeah. yeah. That's going to be a tired reference anyway. What's no. that? No. Fajitas no. and fist fucking? No, that's F like... No. And fist fucking. You know, they go like, uh, fist fucking. Yeah, who like, goes like that? Like, yeah, who? Wait a minute. They go like that like no, it's some no, no, establishment thing? Now that thing? it's okay. Now that it's kind of okay. Uh, the, the, where is it okay? <laughs> well, well, the, the what, 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 white bread guys, they, mm -hmm. years ago, they went right to f f finger banging. Like, so okay. I was finger banging my girlfriend. I'm yeah. taking a risk now. You know, I'm finger banging. <laughs> and now it's like, uh, you guys aren't into fist fucking? No, no, I guess fist fucking isn't okay yet. Oh, right. oh, oh, fish. It's not part oh, of the norm. Well, it's not Why like... Why was I thinking jerk? off like was that what you think fist fucking I, no no I, I, it, the that first thing that came to my head was yeah well, of course you gotta <laughs> jerk off I wasn't thinking about fisting cause fist fucking is just called fisting so I would yeah. think fisting all right but fist fucking is like when, oh, especially when you come from fajita or fist fucking. It's more of a yeah. wor wor work ethic with f fist fucking you gotta do this yeah like that. I weird. must say I have never who told us even the fisting seen story? It live. Some one of you or guys been involved Stan in Hope? a fisting. No, me neither. Huh? Stanhope. Stanhope told us the fisting story. Yes. Yeah. He used to uh, get with a gal yeah. in Florida. Was Lovely it? Lovely young lady. Every time he came through Florida, he had a gal that wanted some fisting done. I never mm. fisted a chick. I got four fingers in one time, and I couldn't get the thumb in. Um, she it's was like trying to get out of cuffs. There's a point where you're going, <laughs> yeah. I think I could do this. Yeah, but then it hits that thumb. one bone and goes, no, nope, I'm yeah, in no. this for, for good. I yeah. just felt She's going to need an episiotomy for me to fist <laughs> yeah. I fanned my fingers out a little bit. Like, how's that? I can't get the she's thumb in. Trying to stretch yeah. it. Just felt creepy. It's weird. It, you got to work around the, uh, the pl plumbing, too. You got to go in and then you hit a yeah, little this pipe. Turn. You gotta a turn. You got to do a turn. Yeah. Yeah. There's this stretching action that takes place yeah. that you feel that the woman must go through when they give childbirth. Well, that's what they like get in a episiotomy for, and they usually get a little cut right there. I'm talking so like pelvic out. bone movement. Oh, yeah. yeah. You yeah. feel like some hard stuff moving aside. Yeah. Well, that's what fisting, <laughs> that's a, fisting a pregnant woman is a lot easier, but oh, then you're punching shit. the kid in the head, and, <laughs> and then you're... Yeah. And there's definitely a soft spot when they're still in there. Oh, totally. The whole baby's <laughs> a soft awesome. spot. It's awesome. It's awesome. But then the yeah. baby c comes out tough and defiant. That's right. <laughs> like, yeah, I took it, man. I took it. That's right. <laughs> well, you don't want the baby, so you're trying to do what she lacks the moral courage to do. <laughs> That's right. And please her at the same time. <laughs> so, Ricky, playing Stress oh, Factor? Uh, Is that the deal? No, I'm oh, doing, I don't oh. know what I'm doing. He's got it written down, though. Oh, you got it. You have a, something to plug there. Where'd you hear? Did you hear Stress Factory? I don't know. Uh, I'm doing. To be uh, honest with you, uh, where? Uh, I'm at Laugh Factory tonight, and then I'm doing a two-hour show at Sidewalk Cafe, which sounds funny at just Sidewalk Cafe, but it k kicks ass. Yeah. Well, Rick does. He's been doing it for years. Like uh, he yeah. does two, like two-hour long shows at yeah. this little <laughs> really? East Village Cafe, the Sidewalk Cafe. Yeah, but it it's gets supposed crazy. to be amazing. Yeah, it's nuts. Wow, it's never the same, right? It's always a different. Yeah, show. yeah, yeah. I got yeah. like H Hitler listening to Tom Jones changes his mind about the Holocaust. I got f f fist fucking to you are my de 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 destiny or the wonder of you, <laughs> whatever mood I'm in. <laughs> And I got an in in incest kid hit hitchhiking at D D Dusty Springfield. <laughs> you can tell I love pr pr promoting stuff because I'm s s stuttering like my father's like, what, what, what are you talking about? Uh, you No, you have the garage first. You have to sweep the garage. Oh, you're performing tonight? Let me give you the look. <laughs> I'm trying to, to figure out guys. why. It's good to see you guys. Good to see you, Rick. Why would yeah. Hitler not... Go follow through with his plan if he heard Tom Jones. Yeah, what Tom he, Jones he, he song? He starts to feel shit. The, yeah, uh, the wonder of you I would play or uh, oh come on, mm, what's it's not unusual. No, 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 no. no. Uh, I woke cat? up this morning uh, w w without love. 
Oh, okay. And he starts walking around without love, and he starts going, come on, come on, I'm Hitler, do this, do this, I'm Hitler. And then after a while, he's like, bring me 600 Jews, and he's like, bring me 6,000 Jews, and then by the end, he starts to feel bad. The one of you goes, all right, bring me six Jews, <laughs> make them stand in the snow na na naked, and by the end, he's like, all right, give me one, one Jew, make him stand by the fireplace with a s s sweater, and he's like, all right, give all the Jews in New York ha 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 health, club, uh, health club me me memberships, and, and he's like, give all the gays happy ma 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 maitre d jobs, and and he's like, the Holocaust is over, and he goes, F fuck you, and and then and then and then J Joey R Ramon plays, it's a w wonderful world, and he's driving, and he starts p p picking up other ex nut 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 Nazis, <laughs> and, and they're all doing this while they're the uh, not, not the wonder of you, it's a w wonderful world, and oh, right. Right. Oh, yeah, driving. Yeah. Yeah. I just did the whole bit. I appreciate that. God damn. <laughs> The song? Because I don't want to monopolize. The song? No. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. I love that shit. Yeah. To live for today. <laughs> Come on, get me more Jews. More Jews on the train. <laughs> yeah, Hitler might think. It's the wisdom. Actually, calm down yeah. from this. Br 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 bring me, bring me some, some gypsies and faggots. <laughs> Come on, more. I said more Jews. More Jews. More Jews. P put cockroaches in a cup with water and call it soup. No, more cockroaches, less water. No, no water, no cup. Just give them the co cockroaches. More. Hitler, I'm Hitler. Do this, do this. I'm Hitler. And then he starts looking around. That happened to me. Bring me 6,000 Jews. Make them stand in the snow na na naked. Then he starts looking around. Bring, all right, bring me, bring me 60,000 Jews. Make, make, make them carry rocks from here to there and back again. I'm Hitler. Do this. Do this. And I look all right. My life. I'm Hitler, man. Come on. It was bad. All right. Bring me. I'll do the short version. Bring, bring me 60 Jews. Make them stand in the snow na na naked. Do experiments on them. Nothing at all. <laughs> and he starts walking around all sad. Come on, man, do it, do it, I'm Hitler, come on. <laughs> All right, bring me six Jews. Bring me six Jews, make them stand in the snow naked, make them eat snowflakes off each other's sh shoulders. <laughs> come on, man, I'm Hitler, do this. Inject, inject pus into the uh, senior citizens' legs. <laughs> come on. And then they turn around. And I would make it more like, bring, bring me gays and Polacks. Put them all on the trains. Come on, I'm Hitler. Bring me six million. Nothing at all. all right, bring me one Jew. <laughs> Make him, give him a sweater. Make him stand by the fireplace, but no, no pants. <laughs> and he starts moving like Elvis, and like all sad, like. Yeah. And then he goes, all right, all right, give the Jews six million health club memberships in Manhattan. And give the ma give the gays maitre d jobs. This song is powerful. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, the Holocaust is over. That Fuck you, man. And then the Ramones plays, and he gets in. And he's driving. He carries a bag to the trunk. But I, but, 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 I, but I act it out more. And then, 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 then he's driving, and he's like, and Ramon is playing fast, and he's smoking a joint, and he's looking around. He sees a guy going. Hitchhiking, sure. Yeah, and, and he goes, he goes, and he goes. Calls him. Well, you can't do hand. Yeah, yeah. You can't yeah, do hand yeah. signals on the radio. Right? Oh, but that's very odd because most people know how to read radio today. <laughs> <laughs> I've never quite seen a, a take like that put on the I Holocaust. Know, see. Um, oh, the, uh, the Tom uh, Jones was able to Jew down Hitler. Yeah, yeah. Six million really Jews like, to one. Well, got him uh, uh, to down. feel. He got him to feel. A lot of people on the yeah. instant feedback uh, want to know what uh, drug Rick is on today. Why well, do they see, always assume that? That's, that's <laughs> well, so I'm narrow. Just, I'm just reading them there. Right? And they want to know why Hitler had a Mexican accent. Yeah. <laughs> well, everybody knows Hitler was an immigrant. <laughs> oh, okay. Hitler was sort of doing human landscaping. I gotta watch uh, more um, History Channel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not drugs. It's living without drugs. It makes these all this shit sit on your mind. <laughs> yes, the drugs calm you down. 
The drug. Keep you, keep you. <clears throat> yeah, they make you go like, who would think about something like, <laughs> right. like that? But then when you're not with drugs, you hear Tom Jones and you're reading fucking Eli Wiesel at Barnes and no, 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 Noble, <laughs> and it all uh, alchemizes. It all comes together, right? Right. Yeah, like like like, like there was this. Can I just say, say this? What? Do I we don't know, know what it is yet. <laughs> Like, there was this woman at Barnes & Noble. I don't go, go there anymore because they look like pi 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 pigeon ghosts, you know? They, <laughs> pigeon ghosts? They, they, they look like earth tone ghosts. You don't know they're there unless you t t touch the, the wall and you hear someone go... Like that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you, and, wow. And this is without drugs, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's it's, awesome. We need you in for Pot Talk Monday, but go ahead. Well, if I can say, say this... Well, it's great to see you guys. Well, and, fun. So, so, uh, <laughs> and that's Tracy, my anchor over there. Mm -hmm. I'm sizzling down. I eat stripper meatloaf. <laughs> that's the only time meatloaf. Strip club meatloaf. <laughs> stripper meatloaf. Mm -hmm. Because it's better than meat meat meatloaf. Because that's mm -hmm. ha ha house w w wifey. Like you're supposed to sit right. there going, "This is great meatloaf, honey. This is uh -huh. great." And that's not me. Right. But she used to be a sh sh stripper. Uh -huh. I hope her dad's l listening right now. <laughs> she, she used to be a stripper, so it tastes like sh 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 stripper meatloaf. Right. So you that's get to have the meatloaf without the boring uh, domestic part. It tastes part like of di it. Di dirty pussy meatloaf. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. No, <laughs> but really dirty yeah. pussy me me meatloaf. Does she rub her pussy on it? Or yeah. <laughs> She no. marinates it. <laughs> it's <laughs> terrible that there's actually a tr truth in that. No, I, I don't know what, what it is. I don't know what it is. Dirty pussy meatloaf. <laughs> Dirty. That's why I would never eat at strip clubs that have like is buffets. It, is it turkey? Like, I, I wouldn't eat is at it? a strip club buffet. Yeah, <laughs> that's like disgusting. They have the, sometimes it's something as simple as like the six foot hero, right? And like the construction workers are like, hey, some food, hey, this is yeah. great. And yeah. they pick up and start eating Chicken as wings. they're sitting there, and there's this like rank pussy, yeah, inches away from your sandwich. Yeah, I'm not into that. It's like no. the wefts of chlorine and pu pu pussy <laughs> yeah. over the the salad bar. Yeah, whenever that's a girl would right. walk on. On the bar, like she tried to be sexy and strut right. around. I would put my hand over the top of my bottle, yeah. but try to make it look like I'm not. Yeah, like I'm just like wiping off the top until you no. leave. Yeah, yeah. And then the the top of your hand has just pussy grease. Yeah, on. just splash <laughs> down like, like bird shit. Yeah, pussy hair and sparkles from their makeup. <laughs> yes, a little glitter. Like oh, your yeah. grandmother kissed you in a hospice. You've <laughs> 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 uh, got some dead lady that left on your hand. Slap their ass while you're eating. Your yeah, yeah. Sandwich. Something falls Isn't out. That the Something worst? falls out. Stripper <laughs> <Just, laughs> ass slap. Nah. Yeah, it's the dumbest move. It's like, so yeah. naughty. She had to discipline herself. Yeah, oh, so yeah. insincere. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't get me. So <laughs> it doesn't get you. <laughs> And there's hot you, food. Sometimes you want to go like, oh, uh, sweetheart, like why are you Swedish doing meatballs? that? Yeah, they bring over the plates, uh, and there's hot the food. and burner under Yeah, it. they got the little burners underneath, uh, and you open the lid up and have some, some uh, like, ziti. Uh, you I get some ziti. I never went to a higher class one. Higher <laughs> class? <laughs> I just went to the sixth, seventh veil where it was four depressed chicks who, who, yeah. who, who answers were always like, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> the whole buffet, it's four corn chips and a miscarriage. <laughs> <laughs> dip them in. <laughs> four corn chips and you dip. Well, me and Hope grew up on Long Island. So uh, we know about like the day strip clubs. You go in, and it's yeah. usually the working guys, and they open up at noon, and uh, you're, like, you're in there at 12.01 to a collection of the worst strippers because they're only good for the day stripper job gigs, you know? <laughs> so they got the C-section scars and uh, a few of them had bullet wounds and they're just not like and, kept. And, and, you know, they're not the night strippers. And the po pock marks. Yeah, and yeah. And, and r like r like wrinkles. <clears throat> I could be very good to you. I could be better than the rest of them. You yeah. don't understand. <laughs> and, but she's wearing a schoolgirl outfit. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. 65. Wow, you yeah. sure I'm only me. 19. Yeah. <laughs> they got those flapjack tits. <laughs> like fucking fried eggs. Flat you don't want to see that. Flat Do you want to be my daddy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'd have to send you through a time I machine. Could, I could. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting there thinking, why did I pay age. 10 bucks for this beer? It's like that joke you used to have where you go, like, first I'm going to play with your bowl. Oh, yeah, the, when you call phone sex and the girl, <laughs> the gravelly voice thing, and it's like your clock. Yeah. You like that? Yeah. No, I wouldn't like it. <laughs> no, Get not with your my voice. Phone. <laughs> Except J Jimmy would, like, say it again. Yeah, I like phone sex if it was done right. I remember I... I, I mean, with the old ladies. 
I said, no, I don't care for the older ladies yeah. at all. No, people should, I think women should be euthanized after 45. <laughs> <laughs> what, one stretch mark on the tit and fucking the government shows up <laughs> with a fucking a hanky and some mercy spirit into it. <laughs> Homeland <laughs> defense. It's like Logan's oh run with God. the tit. Logan. No, I've right. called the, Instead of the glowing thing on the palm of the hand, you yeah. see a stretch mark. The most awkward <laughs> thing is when you call phone sex and they start straying into an area. You're trying to be in a moment, like you're faking that you're together in a room or something, <laughs> and then they stray into something you don't like. Yeah. And you try to protest without breaking the mood, but at some point you have to. It's like, oh, yeah, let's talk my dick. And she's like, I'm going to I'm gonna stick my finger in your ass. Uh, and I'm like, yeah, no, don't, don't, uh, <laughs> don't do that. Like, yeah, and then she thinks it's like a game. Yes, I am, you little faggot. I'm going to stick oh, my finger. No, okay, no, listen, I don't really. like that. Yeah. Not listen, really. I don't. Oh, and then she goes, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's not okay. That's <laughs> no, okay. Okay, anyway, so I'm going to fuck you in the face. And, and you have to try to get back in. Get back into the mood. Like, yeah. Blood, I wonder if she, she's ever, like, kept going going with that no you i am doing it and then she just goes click <laughs> yeah. like you're just so annoyed i hung up I, <laughs> fuck yeah you. I, I used to be like a w w wimp where i would let, let her go and not be into it and not have a heart <laughs> yeah. on the whole call and okay finger my asshole sure yeah <laughs> hey, 20, when i was must. about 20 years old i fucking i sent away my, i paid money in advance for phone sex oh i did way that before I credit younger. card or anything Fella. so i sent a check into california and i got the confirmation and, and the code number and how the, long did that take a, a week or so holy shit were well, you just jerking off thinking about dude, it dude i got you had unlimited phone sex for x amount of time so i got home and the first time i was calling to live with my parents was like you know it was like probably eight o'clock in the morning mm. and i was calling california and, the, and there was a black girl who answered and she was so annoyed and i'm like i want she's like you want phone sex now i'm like yeah she's like it's five o'clock in the morning <laughs> this is your first <laughs> time you my check clear believe me i said well this is my code number yeah i wanted phone sex and i was really uninspired phone sex <laughs> wow <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> Can we go backwards a little bit? Oh, yeah. what happened? pigeon ghost? I don't know if you finished that up. I'm pigeon still ghost. I'm stuck at pigeon ghost from they, Barnes they, and Noble. They walk like ghosts through there. You ever go in that place? Well, where's the pigeon part? What's the, the yeah? What's the pigeon part is? Yeah. they have. They're not reading incredible books. <laughs> They're reading like Caprice Crane. I'm going to say it. These stupid romance novels or no, whatever. Believe me, uh -huh. You're not insulting anybody on this now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Reading Caprice Crane. No, they're reading these oh, orange. My joke. She's my favorite. They're reading these orange tangerine books, and they have no pa passion, and they're blo blo bloated. From like, here's an example. But, but, oh my God, but, example. But, but they're walking around like just numb, and you can't see them because their coats are, are earth tone, like the wall. Right, that I get. So, but so why, they get, like, why are they pigeons? Yeah. Because there's no nothing coming out, and they just go like, 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 <laughs> like, 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 like he, he, here's an example. This, this will size it up mm -hmm. because it has to be sized up. This will be sized up. Mm -hmm. A woman in her Attila the Hun leather coat, a big <laughs> Jew at Bar Barnes and Noble, mm -hmm. big fat Jewish Upper West Side w w woman. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm reading Eli Wiesel's Night, you know, about mm -hmm. the whole Holocaust. Mm -hmm. And she's got this long green earth tone leather coat with a fur lining and an Attila the Hun hat with sure. a point <laughs> and a fur lining. Mm -hmm. And I'm waiting uh, to get a coffee. And she goes, There's a crack in my co co cookie. <laughs> and and she goes, I want. She's complaining to the people at Barnes and Noble. Yeah, it was a There's black a and white and cookie, cookie, and the crack looked like a hair breath. It was like not a. It wasn't even a crack. It was like so what? It's a hairline a, fracture. I'm about on her guys cookie. eating, beating up their fathers for a piece of bread. Right, right. that was yeah. a tr true story. And then I'm standing behind her saying, "There's a crack." The woman goes, "I don't see a crack." She goes, "There's a crack with her titilla the the hun." Yeah. So the best you're gonna, ever going to get out of her is, you know, like like. <laughs> <laughs> like a p puff of air. That's the pigeon. <laughs> People are suggesting that you eat pigeons for dinner. <laughs> Plus, I'm a surrealist. Yeah. <laughs> Why were they beating each other up for bread? Because they're the Jews. Because they're, they're fucking Jews. They were the cheap. Nazi. There was loads of bread around. Yeah, he went. <laughs> he went old school. He went way back. Yeah, no, he was no, going they, back. They, I thought. They, I thought he was going back. The uh, awful uh, days of the Holocaust. Yeah. The, of course. The, the yeah. Nazis would put fathers and sons together and, and say, and, "Beat up your and, dad, and I'll give you some bread." Yeah, you guys fight for it. They yep, make the yeah. fathers and sons. Yep. Yeah.
Really? They would have awful like trustees and stuff yeah. that were uh, uh, the, the Jewish police officers that were under the uh, yeah. Nazi. Uh, it's like uh, if you guys, if you and they guys would were... beat the hell out of people that they were neighbors with and friends yeah. with. Uh, yeah, like, just to get it's a like the favorite, kind of shit you guys would do with the virus shows if they were like a concentration <laughs> camp. Thing. Exa- like, exactly. Come up with these weird, you'd right? Pitch. Like the Nazis would pitch. They have pitch meetings. How about if we get yeah. the brother and father to beat the shit out of you? Put them. You know together. that's okay. Didn't we do that last yeah. year? That sounds like our, our tour meeting. <laughs> yeah, our tour meeting <laughs> sounds exactly like that. All we'll right, get Louis. Stalker Patty and <laughs> right. bring her on this stage. <laughs> and we will sew her to her sister and then fuck them both. <laughs> well, yes, we actually yeah. dumped Wait, one I, on I her. I got on one. 10, I got people. one. I, know, yeah, yeah. I got one. Yeah, go ahead, Rick. An right. eight-year-old girl is given to a giant fat n- Nazi as yeah. a b- birthday gift. <laughs> and he screws her every day for years. Jesus. That's a true story. Is that true? Yeah. That's such yeah. a long payoff. Oh. For that, All right, by the way, if uh, the Drudge Report is uh, listening today, yeah. he's completely out of his mind. Wait, <laughs> Rick is out of his <laughs> yes. mind. Uh, we're, we're, well, he's remember, describing uh, the Holocaust. I know, but it's just like, you know what it's like who the fuck knows these days? the Holocaust, they take for God's 15 sake. 15 lousy seconds yeah. from our show and try to destroy our career. Ah, fuck Bree Bart, that fucking douche, and fuck the Drudge Report. There you go. Oh, Thank exactly. you, Jimmy, for saying that. What, are we breaking new ground here, saying that horrible things happened during the Holocaust? I know, right, exactly. Exactly. I think people uh, know. Rick, I'm with you, trust me, but there's a bunch of dummies that interpret what we do a little differently. That's uh, what's all I'm the drudge at. report? I, I thought it was just about you can't curse, not talk about... No, nah, no, uh, oh, nah, believe see, me, any, anything like... A lot more like now, if, huh? if you took the clip that you just said out of context, so it's just like some fat guy took a, an eight-year-old girl and had sex with her, they would put that clip up and out of that context. Everybody's saying that's a good idea. And, was, yeah, la- and Opie and Anthony were laughing at the fact that <laughs> people were talking about pedophilia. Uh, yeah. Instead right. of taking it in the whole context of the conversation, the horrors of the Holocaust. From a surrealist. And yeah. 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 I mean, it's just, it's one and of those. And also, they take it from a place where it's a subscription thing that you actually have a hard time finding. Even right, if you right. want it. Exactly. And make it, give it out to lots of people for them to be offended by. It's, Whereas uh, they never right. would have heard of it. Right, they never would have heard of it anyway. climate again. It's like a cl- I never use that word again, but there's it a, is climate. a climate. You got to start fucking... using the word climate again. Yeah. 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 Better start yeah, using gonna climate. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to in that voice. Listen, everything I said was wrong. I want you to know. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you sound like George Carlin a little bit with the voice. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. You're going to a little George I Carlin. was going for Strom Thurman. <laughs> it's pretty obvious. <laughs> <laughs> it was obvious. Hey, you want to do barring hits for Jesus? Oh, I don't. Yeah, what the hell was this? Well, you know. There seemed to be a problem with some uh, kid was wearing a, a shirt at Why don't we school? ask Rick? What do you think barring hits for Jesus is all about? Mm. Uh, I missed that on the internet because I was fucking last night. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, I, I, we, we had sex and then I talked about Eli Wiesel and she goes, I don't need to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you didn't use it as fodder to get your dick hard. Right. <laughs> I don't think there's probably, there's probably no sexy you stories know, in there. Eli was an well. Oprah book club book, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, what's the name of the book? She loves the Jews. Uh, yeah. the Holocaust. I don't really think she needed to push night, that one. No, night. the truth. No, I think it was going to sell anyway. Yeah, right. The book was night, right? Eli, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. That's yeah. the only re- reason I know that uh, Eli's uh, writings kind of sell. You Is know, it a good book. Oh, it's amazing. I get that. It's amazing. What's it about? And, and it's a quick read. <laughs> uh, it's a page turner. When you're reading, it's like it's like gr- Grindhouse or something. But when you're reading it, it's just fast violence. It just it's keeps just, going. It's just it, coming It's about at you. this guy who survived the Holocaust, Eli Wiesel, and then he absorbed things and, and st- 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 studied how pe- pe- people were, and he couldn't get it off his head. He couldn't get it off his mind, so he had to speak out about every atrocity he yeah. saw. He must really have a great insight on what what people will do to survive yeah. and and like a, a whole social experiment that he got to watch yeah uh, and and absorb all that and then kind of analyze it and write about it uh, nobody can really be put in that position to to see mm-hmm. how human beings act in these horrific circumstances. Mm-hmm. Right. No, and then yeah. they, then they have to just be part of American life after. You know what yeah, I mean? yeah, and then it's to like go okay, from that go to the just, store. Yeah. And then like like you were saying, like Food you, you you just like read you the book. You were reading the, the book. Yeah. <laughs> you were reading the book and pissed off at the woman with the friggin' hat yeah. on talking about the cracked thing. <laughs> the crack imagine, in her cookie. Imagine him standing there going do you understand what I fucking yeah. went through? Yeah. yeah. And you're bitching about yes. your cracked cup, you fucking cunt. Yeah. Yes. Like, that was... A, every moment of his life must just be annoying yeah. 
to deal with humans and their mm-hmm. fucking petty bullshit. Well, imagine if she reversed that logic while he's talking about the Holocaust and said, do you understand what I'm dealing with? <laughs> my and pointed at her cookie. Is, my cookie is cracked. <laughs> I have a cracked black and white cookie. <laughs> Listen, you old Jew. I don't care what happened to you <laughs> yeah, when you were exactly. in camp. I have a crack in my cookie. I got a cracked cookie here. I'm dealing with cookie. How do people that have been through that shit deal with everyday life in this country or on this planet? It just is astounding. And the book is nightmares all the time. They shake, they sweat. Mm -hmm. Uh, I know because I I wasn't there. But (laughs) But you read about it. (laughs) So now you know. Well, I used to work at the turnstiles. Which at, at the concentration camps, <laughs> uh, I, I was a guy with a ma- ma- mouse ears waving <laughs> <laughs> to help the kids come through. Free no food. Oh, was, I did a bit, and the book oh. came out a long time ago. I'm getting uh, word uh, here. A lot of people read it in great. Oh, uh, it's called really? Night. I didn't know. It's and called I, Night. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's supposed to be. It just kind of came book. back out then, or something. Yeah, maybe it, they re. Uh, it's on the shelves or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's I on know. the shelves like it's a new mm-hmm. read. Yeah. No. I mean, I don't want to bore you more with it, so I'll show you. You tell me this shit. Uh, no, this shit's interesting, Cos. There's a psychiatrist who was in the Holocaust, and he used to give th- 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 therapy. He found out, and it's crazy. These people are dying, and he's convincing them to talk about what they're f- f- feeling. And he found out the kind of survival th- 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 therapy, and he turned it into something you can go to now. To, to su- survive. He said, I saw how these men survived. I saw they needed to cry. I saw th- they needed to get mad. Well, wh- whatever. But he came up with this kind of thing. V- v- Victor Fr- Fr- Frankel. And he uses I wonder if people, uh, though, I, I cheapen it f- by going because, you know, I had an awful summer. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I want to yeah. go and I want to. I'm like, the guy like, who like, developed like, it through. Like, that. I tried reading it and I still can't get rid of my stutter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bill's yelling at me from Philly. Yeah, Eli, uh, what's his last name? Weez- uh, Weasel. Weasel, Weasel? okay. Yeah. Doesn't need any help from Oprah. He won the fucking Nobel Peace Prize <laughs> oh, in 1986 yeah, for man. that book. Yes, he did. That's good shit. All right. Yeah, but no, you know I remember reading about what's the guy who does those cartoons? Mouse, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Joe Franklin, <laughs> Klaus, something. The guy, he it's a, a cartoon, it's a it's comic strip about the Holocaust, yeah, but played out with cats and mice. Charles Schultz, Jesus. Charles, Charles Schultz, Schultz, yeah, Charles. Oh, but he yes. said Snoopy was a Jew, that's right. <laughs> But he said uh, there's support groups for children of hell- Holocaust survivors because they're the worst parents in the world. Because yeah. you, oh, right, like, right. you say something like, I, f- I have a bad day, I'm depressed, Mom. I had Hitler <laughs> gassing <laughs> my father, okay? Yeah, yeah there's my, really like my, no way you can... No, you come home late from, uh, you know, your home past curfew. I have to put up with this after I was uh, no, really? uh, in a pile of bodies with right. a steam shovel? Yeah, they, they, <laughs> even, oh. they, you know. they even call it th- third generation. Like my grandmother would tell me, I lost five si- sisters. We jumped on a train. <laughs> yeah. I lost five sisters. My mother would say, you know, your grandmother lost five si- si- sisters. So, yeah, so you uh, can't I would stutter uh, do anything. to, to so you know, you take the really edge off. say anything, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, so do you uh, do you read about the Holocaust a lot, or is this just one? Uh, I I was you look like a reader. A while. You're a reader, aren't you? Uh, you not, like books? not since I found p- p- pussy to <laughs> l- l- Lucky Louie. <laughs> <laughs> but before that, Which you... is that why we're here? Is it a surprise? They bring it back. <laughs> 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 Everyone gets quiet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah no, sadness in the room. Well, well you know, it's, <laughs> it's hard to keep uh, on the Holocaust conversation. And I'm keep it upbeat. Mm. And I know, light. but we're doing it. That's <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. yeah. just because she doesn't understand. Try it's called it being awake. Yeah. Why do you have to have for heat? For heat well, this is what, you know, like you're saying that people might get, a, the thing that pisses me off is that this this book will be discussed on NPR, but it'll be done in voices like this. Right, it's right. Very we are now speaking. We, it is very, uh, stories that are horrific. Yes. But we're actually cracking it open and doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Taking more so, deeper into what yeah. it is. I want to yeah. read that book, though. I want to read it. And the whole, uh, yeah, because right. that, that's amazing, that whole mindset where you, you can actually look into the horrors like that and then bring it back and mm-hmm. uh, and write about it. Uh, they, there is there is actually a big controversy about um, the the experiments they did yeah. on people whether some of them should or the writings of them should be used mm-hmm. to kind of help people today. Yeah, and you I mean, if they that. found anything, yeah, if yeah, but they weren't trying to help anybody. They were just being, through, but even in if you all pour that Clorox into a woman's vagina, and all then that sew it horrible shuts? stuff. Do you think though that? Hey, all, guess what? It 
<laughs> but don't don't you think like those are got the, rid of her asthma? <laughs> those are the over the top ones. <laughs> so the experiments that don't work. Don't you think maybe there was one or two German uh, doctors that were kind of like. Ah, let me see if I can do this. <laughs> see if I can make a bone heal faster. Ho- yeah, yeah, something. <laughs> like, so obviously, it, it yeah. took breaking the bone first, and yeah. then being uh, in like, laughing a bleeding pain and laughing and, and prodding, and, you know. And but then trying to fucking get his arm to fuse to his skull. But there yeah, were but people yeah, yeah. that wanted to read through all right. of that to see if it's any good useful. could come out of it and yeah. useful. And people were saying, no, don't even use that yeah, at no, all, I don't whether it's that, good or bad or anything. You agree with that? Shouldn't none of that information? You should, you should. Yeah, I, I think yeah, you should. It doesn't change like it the be fact. Yeah. It doesn't change what happens. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, well, it's just, it's happening now. A girl just lost her feet on the roller coaster. Well, we, wow, we wow. saw that we've she been lost her feet. With that story, Rick. Uh, should that be used now as a way to uh, see how feet can be cut off at two hundred and fifty feet high? Or to sell mm-hmm. sneakers <laughs> sewn back on? The, the fun way to fix your feet or ruin your feet? I was thinking it would be odd if the cable slicing through her feet didn't do it enough damage. Like they could have. Attached her feet, but her feet falling 250 feet and hitting the ground, hitting some guy in the like head. broke all the bones in her feet. So it's like, oh, this doesn't hurt, and they sew them back on. And she's like, ow, I got two broken feet. How can we go worse <laughs> than the Holocaust? <laughs> That's yeah. funny, A man. Kid with two well, feet that fell off. The virus, Sirius XM. This.